Hi, Dave from Dieway Quern here with my friend Bart, Bart Kelmus from Adelaide. He's um, come up to visit for our Australian Wing Chun Federation conference and um, dropped around my place. A little bit of a chat. Of course, we're talking about Kung Fu. So, Bart's very kindly um, agreed to assist me just to show you how we do um, force testing and form testing in, in our Chu Shang Tin lineage Wing Chun. It's really quite a simple thing. It's essentially uh, we want to test whether we've got the right body and mind state on when we do the different moves in the form. Um, as I've mentioned before, it's state, not the shape. Uh, that's what we're <clears throat> aiming for. We want to we get that, that right mind and body state so that we can effortlessly move with a lot of power. Um, but the shapes are very important in Wing Chun. The forms are very, very well thought out and integrated right through the six forms. So it's, it's very important. So what we're going to do is um, test each other to see how the force is, is generating and whether we're using muscle or whether we're using soft, effortless movements. So um, the first thing we usually do is um, you know, go through the form so as we remember how to do it. So we'll just quickly go through the, the Sylvian Dao form together. This form testing applies to Chum Q, Bill G, um, the poles and the knife, not so much the dummy because that's where you really practice expressing the forms and the power uh, with that training partner. But um, we'll just do Sylvian Dao today. So We'll go through the form and then we'll get into the form testing. You see it's the same form, uh, there might have been some slight differences and everyone notices that with uh, Wing Chun when we look at all the different uh, parts of the Wing Chun family, sometimes there's small differences, sometimes quite large differences, but in the end all our movements are powered by soft body, soft relaxed mind, strong intention. So. Um, <clears throat> When you, when you do form testing, you can choose to go through all the different parts of the form or certain parts, and you'll find personally there'll be things that seem to uh, 
uh, click easier with you than, than others. So don't be disturbed by that. That's really quite normal. Everyone tends to have their favourite movements wherein they can stay relaxed and move reasonably effortlessly. And sometimes it can be surprising and somebody who can't do what you think is a simple thing uh, you know, can do something else and, um, and vice versa. So uh, we'll just start off with really the most difficult of all, <laughs> the, um, this one. And <clears throat> what you need to do with your partner when you're doing this is don't be too tough on them. Um, start off gently. What The most important thing is the quality of the force, not so much whether they can move a gigantic weight. Um, I like to sort of do Wing Chun weightlifting um, to test my force, get people to really put it on me because there's a lot of cool things you can learn if you can get a big strong person to really put it on. That's obviously a big strong guy. Thank you. Um, but uh, when you're doing it, don't sweat too much about it. So this part here, Sigal and I said this is on the hard, so if you just just stop me there. So obviously if I if I try to fight that, you know, anybody who does weights knows how difficult it is to actually move that. But what I want to do is completely stop using force at all. I want to empty and um, and relax and not concentrate on, on that, but the way I do it, there's all sorts of ways people do it, but I, I like to just completely use no force and then think I've got something in my hand and start to move that. So, yeah, when, when uh, uh, don't judge yourself about this one. This is one that I still fail this one sometimes and, and even the best teachers I know will admit that, but when, you, when I feel his resistance, then that's a good chance you can feel me empty. I back off my own tension. I, I sort of feel myself tense. And that can be a good thing. Like it's, it's really not that easy to be totally soft coming into it. The natural thing is you'll feel it in your shoulders. If you just, once, you, once I feel it, really feel it, then I let that go. Let go even more and then what I want is to see him start to be affected straight off. Yeah. Straight away, it goes up my arm, puts me on my heels, get to that point. Yeah, and that's the really go. important thing. Like this is this is a tough one, you know, but this is Sigong was asked, you know, what do I do? How would I use this? So like I'm standing at the bar, so they come in with a a left. So it's I it's a no bugger sort of movement where you just boom. So whatever, whether I get him with my wrist or there or there, he's just about got me, but still, you know, it's it's just and there's variations on this in the other forms, but it's sort of just to, to get him into the centre and clear him out. Alright, so we've got that one over and done with. Uh, don't worry about that one too much. If you find it too hard, um, just get your partner to say whether they feel like... you. And you really need to think, am I tensing up? So use it as a way to, to relax. Then, that's the point with a lot of these. With a strained arm, it's a lot easier to feel whether Dave's using muscle or whether he's actually using wind trim. As the, uh, as the resistor. As the resistor, yes. yes. Oh, that's a good idea. And if you are experiencing Wing Chun, try not to use wing, relax Wing Chun back on the person. No. Some people do that. We have a name for that. Uh, but it's, it's not really fair. Um, at an advanced level, if you're pretty good, you can try it out with people. You know? it's, uh, people are very good. It's extremely hard to move them unless your force is better than theirs. And that sort of becomes a bit of an ego thing. So, you know. Anyway, but um, so I'm back here, and then the next one is this movement, which is essentially like so much of Wing Chun is just Tan Sao to Bong Sao. 
right? Just that turn, turn of the forearm, um, and, a, and a moving and a rolling. So you know, <coughs> Bart could. A way of testing that he could be holding me there, and um, yeah, if, he, if I'm sort of like trying to, he, you know, I'm getting stuck there. So I, I just stand naturally, and you know, you can get into a stance if that's what you do. I just want to have my legs really light and relaxed, and I've just got something in my hand. I just go like that. So um, see how my incredible force is knocking around. It just breaks my structure straight away. Yeah. So if I do it wrong, I'm sort of like a fly on a trap. If I do it right, and and it just even mechanically, this roll here is helping. There's multiple vectors going on. But once again, if I say, "Oh no, back it off there," just give it done. Yeah, just let me get the feel of it. And sort of build up to it, you know. When you go to the gym, you don't immediately go to the heaviest weights you can lift. You always get the light fellas warm up, and in Wing Chun, essentially warming up your mind. So there, and then, um, so yeah, that's that's the sort of thing. And that this this actual move is a guard type move, which you can think of it as a sort of a shield. <coughs> so you put a fair bit on me there. Um, if I fight. You know, this is me. I'm just fighting him, trying to use muscle. And if I relax, I just roll up. And that didn't really feel like much to me. It's essentially start to move. You just got to keep your mind in the right state. And uh, we call it auditing your body. You sort of audit your state. So by, by practicing this, Try not to just be in the arms, be thinking about what's happening in your body and, and notice if you're, if you're rocking on your toes. Um, what else can you think about? Really just try to get rid of any tension that you can feel in the body. It's yeah, and if you're a strong person, you know, be aware if you're just using grunt. You know, it should really be fairly soft and effortless. And then, you know, you can test every single part of the form, so, you know, from there, coming back to here, you know, God could stop me, yep. so I'm, I'm just coming back to there, so if I'm, if I'm just pulling, then I'm stopped, if I just relax, one of the things I always look at, oh, just had to change cameras, um, so now we get on to the first punch, um, the last one, now this is this is one that um, sometimes people say this is really difficult, but in the end it shouldn't be any more difficult than anything else. In that you just want to empty and stop trying, so you can feel me emptying there. And I want to feel connected to the opponent, and I want to feel like don't have to necessarily always think this, but if you can feel where he is and sort of move that, that's the first step to, to sort of feel a connection to him. With the punch, you always tend to feel it in your shoulder when if you tense up straight away, you'll feel your shoulder trying to push. That's quite easy to stop, even though Dave's really strong. Yeah, that's right. I, I can't, I can't really do it with just because I'm, I'm really quite a compromised position here, but if, if I had mine in my hands there and I, I really effortlessly stop and I just I just move and as soon as I start to move you're unbalanced and, so you and it builds up and then all of a sudden it's that point of no return and I have to literally start running back to uh, stop myself from falling over. Yeah exactly and the point of this is that if you can do it well slowly Practice it like that. <clears throat> when you do it fast, it's going to be tremendously powerful because obviously speed adds a lot. And also, this is just 101. Once we start moving our body in, in Chum Q and Bill G, you know, you go from from that to you know, the, the whole body's in it. Just, just punch 
through. Anyway, <clears throat> I, I just want you to get the idea how that's done. So, as you know, use the other hand. Sometimes also uh, we notice that one fist, one side gets something faster. And if you if you get that, work on that side, and then um, try the other. And sometimes the weak side will get it quicker, and sometimes what the strong side, you know, the one you ride with, is on. So that's working well. This side with me is, is confident. This side wasn't going so great there before because it, it sort of, uh, you know, hadn't been doing this all day or anything, just doing it. So now it feels more confident. Still locking up just a little bit. So I'm trying really hard to stop it. Yeah, so th this, is, this is, you know, this is where you just get with somebody that you trust and you work on it together. See that? There yeah, I can I can feel myself tensing so let's okay. go. <clears throat> and it's important with Wing Chun to uh, to think about ego, what the ego is, you know, and even me with 20 years experience, I'm still quite happy to say, oh I couldn't do that well or you know, I'm I'm uh, a bit crap at some things. Um, not a lot of things I'd say about that, but I've learned that that's the important thing is not to be too on your high horse because it's actually a type of softness. It's not having ego about things as a type of soft power too. It's, it's relaxing the mind and not um, thinking too much because once you start to worry, can I do it? That's ego. My ego is thinking, well, I'm on a camera here and I'm, here's my friend watching me and he, he might think I'm... I'm pretty crap, but yeah. So coming back now, same sort of deal. This is one where you really find um, as soon as you do it wrong, you'll get unweighted. So you want to re relax your body down. And one thing that helps me is to drop this elbow. It's something that Sigmund we talked about. Just sort of takes your mind off trying to you know, sort of pull, trying to pull back this way, just drop that, just drop that elbow down. So, very powerful. <laughs> but it's, it's really, you know, as soon as I feel off my feet, I think, no, nah, no. Nah. So, I, Failure is an option. <laughs> um, making mistakes teaches you a lot. Like, I like it when I can't do things. So I think, okay, what's what's going wrong? You know, I'm forgetting something, or um, I'm tense in the legs without realising, focusing too much in the arms. Just try this side this time. So, you know. Um, If I'm pulling, I can feel it in the toes. I just relax. That was a good one. That was really good. Yeah, I really didn't feel anything that time because I, I felt wrong. I felt the toes, and I go, let it go, let it go. And then, yeah. then he is a big, strong man. So you know, it's, I wish you lived around here. <laughs> I could, I could do this more. I regular. wish I would brand new too. <laughs> yeah, so then we, you know, the next one's the tarn sour. So it's the same sort of deal. You're, um, if I start battling away, trying to face this force there, then it's, you know, it's really, really, really tough. But if I can take my mind off that, relax my body, and I just think, I've got something in my hand there, I'm just giving it to him. Giving him an apple. Grab one of my, my balls, or this is one I used to use at my brain. That's a, uh, a good thing to use. Still picking away. I'll do it with the brain, actually. Um, 
it helps, I, I found it helps to have something in your hand. Um, it's hard to forget somebody's there sometimes, but especially if someone grabs hold really tight. Yeah, so you just got to go uh, and just relax your face, neck, and everything. Like that, and then you just want to put that out there. And it might seem like he's letting me do this, but I can feel it when I'm doing it wrong, I know that I can't move him. He's very solid. Just, you know, like that, that's how I... That's all right, man. Big difference for, for me is Dave's in the contact point. I've got something to resist. That's right. When he's not, I literally, I could be twice as strong than him when I just can't resist that. Yeah, my feeling when I do it right is if everything comes away from there and it's in here, it's sort of in, it's a, it's a mind thing. I want to virtualize him. And it's, it's an intent thing where you, you feel strong, I will do it. A, a determination, and Super Jim used to call it a determination force. And I'll put it there. And it does feel, it does seem to be in the eyes in a funny way, but you think about it as being the back of the brain. Um, Alright, so that's that. <clears throat> and then coming back to the same as we've been doing for, before. Yeah, that's it. So this is. Similar sort of thing, so I can fire, try to pull in there. Oh, I'll run with both hands and I'll get the harder pull in there. So, no, you see my toes digging in, so I just relax. I look for the mind state. Nothing's happening, I'm just bring, bringing my arm back. And when you do the forms, it can help. I imagine somebody stopping me sometimes and I just imagine overcoming them effortlessly and that's really how it, how it feels. It just, you know, that's me actually in the, in the real world or if I go into the virtual world. Yeah, sort of work. I, I rocked a little bit. <clears throat> Drop the elbow. So now I'll throw my brain over there. Um, we've done that and then we go like that. <clears throat> so you just, um, you know, this side says it doesn't see what I'm doing. Maybe like that. Um, so this one is the one we, we do two of these. There's one near the end of the form where we come from over there, which is maybe a little harder. But this one, you'll just relax. And this one's actually sometimes an easier one to get first off because you feel that your body's behind it so if I you make it hard for me <clears throat> I can't really do that <clears throat> brute force doesn't work very well but if I just relax everything relax my face I've got this in my hand in my mind I'll just move that that one works it? it doesn't even feel like it's a strength battle it literally it was like something completely different than, than the strength, strength goes strength away yeah. and we sort of just connect it's as if I'm just moving myself because the reason I, I've shown you the balls and the idea of the balls is because you get that sense that there's something in your hand and I'm not really thinking anything else there is ways to help you thinking about circles and pointing with the elbow and different approaches um, but the approach I like best is just I'm just moving something and not doing anything unusual so my body just stays relaxed and light <clears throat> and then so from there I just <laughs> you are strong so I'm just there and then coming back I hold my wrist and, then and honestly when I do it right it's a mind feeling. You find that it's it's sort of it's hard to describe if you haven't felt it, but it's it's like my mind just locks on. Ah, it just finds that sweet spot. So and then you know it goes out. <clears throat> Similar sort of thing. Um, and there's a whole lot of other 
moves. But I'm not going to cover every single one right now. Um, just be creative with it. Uh, say, let's do this one. This is something people often have trouble with. Um, we just just dropping down like that. So if you're stopping me, okay. Now, as soon as you feel that, you feel like, oh my god, how will I move that? And there's different approaches to it, but I find if I can just, you know, touch, and that just breaks me in half. Yeah. I just I need to forget he's there and just feel that, that sensation in my hand and just put it down. That was a technically better one. And to me, I don't feel it here, I feel it I break here and I break at the knees. That's what yeah. And and that that experience is common and it's I don't need to put my mind in you to do that, it's just what happens. If somebody moves effortlessly without or reasonably effortlessly without using brute force it just attacks the other person's brute force which is what you know and we do that when when we're testing each other Bart can do what i'm doing he wouldn't uh he wouldn't use his wing chun on me to just go you can't move me and be as solid as a rock i probably couldn't move him at all but we just we just practice that with this one here it's important not to actually wedge underneath because if I sort of get in like that, yeah, yeah. it's literally that's got to go through my bones to actually. I pretty much work. have to crush his whole body. Yeah, like that. Um, you know, I don't know if I can do that. You can just get the arms out a little bit. Yeah, just because before it's just literally just going down exactly onto my structure where I'm strong. Yeah, and almost wedging. And that's an important thing I said earlier. Don't. Make it too hard for yourself and don't feel like you, you're no good unless you can... You know, people often will sort of, you know, say a cut down, they'll, they'll get put their whole body behind you and it's really impossible. Maybe not like that, they can sort of just cut that down. But if I were to... But yeah, like if he's got his whole body there, it becomes a really, you know, an incredible feat. And I've seen it done and I have actually done it with help myself, you know, being able to crush something like that. Good. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's 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 possible, but it's sort of you know it's what we want to aim for. Again, my knee went, and then the rest of me went. Yeah, it, I I can I can do it if I can really stop thinking about a big man there. And people also get obsessed with perfect technique with this. Don't always worry about always you know having a perfect arc or something. In a real situation, it's just like, boom, you just, see, I'm just, you know, the guy's coming in and I just, I'm going to crack it, you know, I crush him and, um, you know, do all sorts of nasty stuff to him and we become friends later. Okay. We're in the same jail cell. <laughs> anyway, um, that, with that one, you know, the cut down is one that people also worry about. There's all sorts of approaches to it, but... Once again, this is this is really the, the classic. Put the put the bottle on the table. That's um great practitioner Tony Saylor, he's a good friend of mine, taught me years and years ago, um, just put the bottle on the table. It doesn't feel exactly what normally putting a bottle on the table feels like, but it does. If you can just keep your mind in there, the idea is there's incredible force and just natural movement. The only way I can do it is keep the imagination going. Once I feel him on there, that's the part where you tend to seize up. You think, oh, but with practice, you get to just ignore that. You just keep keep that mind going. I'm just putting. I'm just. I'm just this. I'm just that. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, and, um, the right stuff. And the, as soon as you think, as soon as you think the other person's too strong, it just will never work. Yeah, it, it's an intent. That, you know, thinking about, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, that's intent. And that's got to be developed like a muscle. It's, it's all developable. developable. Um, worth doing out. Once you get to Chum Q, 
then we're doing everything with the body. So the first thing we want to do, we get these in, in uh, Suanim Dao, we practice so that we can effortlessly move the arms. And then you want to be able to just move the body. So you resist me pretty hard. So if I just have to push, that's just muscle. Or there's just nobody there, and I go for a walk. First one, the second one I went, I'm going for a walk. First one I think you're thinking of me, second one you've just gone through. Me. Well that's it. it, it's a feeling, you know, that's what Bruce Lee said, don't think, feel. So, it's like, oh my god, how, how will I move this? Or it's just, I'm going to go over there, what's that over there? That's, that's, um, mind away on holidays. Tony Blinko and Lindy Scott's idea, which I really like. But there's, there's all sorts of wonderful ideas. Um, we have a plethora of, of uh, good people in our um, style here in Australia, but of course there's great people all around the world. Um, okay, well, I'll leave it at that. Hopefully that's been of some use. Uh, please let me know if you'd like to know more about it or see more. I'll certainly be demonstrating more things with... Um, Sunandao and the other forms as Dai Wei Queen goes on. So for now, thanks to my friend yeah. Bart Kalmus from Adelaide and um, shout out to Southern Wing Chun and, and, Adelaide. and Adelaide Uni Wing Chun. Yes, the cool dudes and ladies at Adelaide Wing Chun. They're the best. Um, and uh, to all our friends there. See you soon. <laughs>